Before you start cooking, wash hands and surfaces often. Separate raw meats from other food. Cook to the right temperature and refrigerate promptly. Hi, I'm Robin LaCroix with the Healthy Teaching Kitchen at the White River Junction VA. Here we are today to make a chicken vegetable stir fry. This is a great, um, quick, healthy, easy meal that comes together fairly quickly. And we're gonna start by making our stir fry sauce. So we have a fresh lemon that we're going to zest. We need about a teaspoon of zest. And you can use a zester if you have one of these. If you don't, one of those four-sided graters will work well. Just find the side with the smallest, um, smallest grates on it and you'll get some lemon zest quite easily. So we'll put our lemon zest aside and then we're gonna use our lemon here. Just gonna cut it in half. And we're gonna squeeze all the juice out. And I often squeeze this right over your nicely clean hands. So if any seeds come out, they fall right into your hand and you can just toss those aside. And I am mixing my sauce here in a mason jar. I find this really easy way to shake it up. So here we have our lemon juice. Now we have a half a cup of chicken broth. And this is a low sodium chicken broth. It's about 30% um, less salt than the regular. When you can buy those low sodium products, um, it's worth it to continue reducing our salt. We all, we all consume more than we really need. Um, three tablespoons of a low sodium soy sauce. One tablespoon of honey. And we have two teaspoons of cornstarch. Now cornstarch is gonna thicken up our sauce. And we need a tablespoon of ginger. Um, so it has this really thin skin on the outside of it and you're just gonna take a small paring knife and um, peel off some of that skin. And use a grater um, and it can grate right into your recipe. So again, we're gonna use um, our grater here and grate our ginger that we need. All right, and I've got some pre-grated up here to um, add to our sauce. So a tablespoon of fresh ginger. Okay. So again, just an easy way to shake up your sauce. Just make sure your cover's on tight. And there's our stir fry sauce. So again, really easy to make ahead of time and that could be right in your fridge ready to go. So now we're gonna move over and start cooking our chicken. We have one tablespoon of canola oil. If you have olive oil, that would work just fine as well. And we're adding chicken breast here. If you have, you can buy fresh chicken tenders um, or chicken thighs as well. All right, so our chicken takes about five minutes to cook here. You wanna make sure it's no longer pink in the center. And then you're just gonna scoop it out of your pan into a dish on the side. This just prevents the chicken from overcooking um, as you cook your vegetables. So we just leave our pan just like it is and add our vegetables in. Now today I am using um, three cups of fresh vegetables. I have carrots, red peppers, and broccoli. I'm gonna add these to our pan. And let those cook. That's gonna take again about six to seven minutes here. If you don't have fresh vegetables, you can also use frozen vegetables. So the frozen vegetable section is a really great resource. And lots of different choices. You wanna look for a stir fry vegetable mix. All right, so our vegetables are finishing up here. They've taken about six minutes, six to seven, depending on what you're working with. So we're gonna add our chicken back in. And let this cook together. It's smelling really good. And then our sauce is ready to go in. Give it another shake, just make sure it's all well blended. And pour it all right in. And I like to let this cook for about, I don't know, four to five minutes just to get that sauce simmering. Once it starts to simmer, it'll thicken. Um, so while we're doing that, we'll get our rice ready. Um, we are using a brown rice today with our stir fry. Brown rice is gonna have more fiber and a bit more nutrition to it. So there's a lot of options now. You can buy it in the frozen section, just microwave it. And you can also buy what they call kind of a 90 second rice, which you just pull the little tab on the side and put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and it's done, it's pre-cooked. Um, and there's nothing added to it, it's just plain rice. So just be cautious of rices that have added seasonings or sodiums, because those are again gonna increase the salt in your recipe. Dish out a little rice here. I also like those uh, microwave packets because it's two servings in there. And so it's easy to portion control. 
so now we have our chicken and our vegetables and sauce mixed together here. It's come to a nice simmer and thickened up. And the last step we have here is to add back our lemon zest and our tablespoon of chopped garlic. And again, that's adding a nice splash of extra flavor with the lemon and the garlic without any extra sodium. So we'll just mix those in. All right, and then we're gonna serve this right over our brown rice. I usually make a um, kind of double the recipe so that I have it for lunch the next day because this is really good. So you have all your food groups here. You have your, your grains with the brown rice, your protein with your chicken and your vegetables, um, and a nice serving size here. And it's really delicious, so I hope you give it a try. The preceding video was published by the White River Junction VA Medical Center. Contact robin.lacroix at va.gov.